Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and... This is Pahamar. And this is episode 21 of Direwolf20 and Pahamar's Material Energy Hypercube series. Pahamar, I'm feeding cows. Nice, I'm getting aluminum or berry bushes. Cool, I learned something terrible. Uh, what did you learn? So you know how, like, we had spawned chicken eggs? Let me guess, they're wild chicken eggs. They are wild chicken eggs. They are not normal chickens. And apparently you have to breed them in order for them to be able to lay eggs. And you have to breed the cows, and eventually they will be able to get milk from them. So we actually have a quest for for both of those things to happen. Um, and I'm not loving any part of it, because I'm breeding these chickens like crazy, and I'm having zero luck getting anything that looks like a normal chicken. The good news is we have 300 and something feathers, but <laughs> they continue to only drop feathers and not eggs. Wah, and I'm not a fan. Wah, wah is like seriously not kidding at all. Giant blue slimes. We need a blue slime stuff, right? Uh, sure, if you want. I mean, we don't need it because you can get it from trees, but sure. I love that I put hey. lifesteal on this sword. Yeah, it's a good call, right? So, we need redstone, right? I assume that's why you originally loaded this place up. Yeah, kind of. But the good news is we have 2,000 redstone now. What, what? Yeah, I got us 2,000 redstone. Good job. Yeah, I did good. You did You'll good notice things. that there's like many redstone blocks missing from the surface of this world. Between last episode and this one, Pahamar, I did... I'm gonna say quite a bit. On a scale of one to ten, you did a lot. On the scale of one to ten, I did fourteen, I believe. That's a pretty big number on that scale. I'm sorry, I lied. Seventeen. Oh, I don't know if I can trust you now. Now you're inflating it. Well, open up your quest book and see how many quests we have to complete. Oh, hold on. Why do I feel like we've already seen that wool? What wool? Oh, I'm just at the bottom of this age. Just trying to get all the yeah, aluminum. Get then I will look at the quest book. Okay. Because I feel like we. There's aluminum are... down there. Well, the aluminum ore berry bushes. Oh, we don't need that. You can water ours. We don't need any more than we have. Well, I feel like more is good. I wouldn't mind automating it so that we have some ready when uh, some alumite ready when we need to replenish our arrow supplies. Fair enough. Oh, that reminds me. I'm going to do some things on camera that I was saving until I got on camera. Like, I did boring crafting stuff off-camera, but I decided I wanted to do, like, things that were at least in some way interesting on-camera. We don't need emeralds, do we? Well, that's not good. Do we need... Oh, here's dense redstone. I thought I'd be able to do this, but apparently I can't, and that's making me a little sad. Um. Hmm. I guess I can't get a broken spawner of villager. I want more villagers, Bahamar. Well, you're just gonna have to, have to ask. I think we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. No, not the door thing. I think so. I have a feeling that that would be something that he would have disabled. You think so? I don't know. Yeah, I did a parkour, like... a parkour thing. Ooh, parkour. Uh, eight more aluminum ore berry bushes. That's pretty good. Sure, if you want. 
Yeah, I need to find a way to get villagers. Like, I need a couple villagers, and we only have four in the AU system, so I would kind of feel like I would like more than that. Because I don't want to use the four that we have, and that's like almost the number I need. I don't even know how to do the door thing. Do you know how to do the door thing? I kind of know how to do the door thing. I've done it before, but like it's also been a while. Not really, no. I've never had yeah, to do never. the door thing. Yeah, I always just like find other ways. <laughs> right, but we I'm don't back. have MFR. Um, we have a mod called Improving Minecraft that apparently has a villager spawner. But I don't know how that works. Can we come back in a minute? I'm going to go see if we can use that to, to spawn villagers. But I thought you wanted me to look at the quest book. I will, but I want to look that up first real quick. And then we can Duh. look at the quest book. All right, be right back, guys. Oh, Pahamar, we are so lucky. We are? Yes. Uh, I found something out. That these guys have different eyebrows? They do. Do you know why they have different eyebrows? Because one's alarmed and the other one's just really not interested uh partially correct oh come on really that is not cool i think this is a bug but i'm not sure is this a just a regular old vanilla villager right i i think i read that Mod added villagers can't be put into the Ender IO spawners, but that's why I spawned all four villagers. But, um, and we were lucky in that one of them turned out to be not um, a mod added villager. It was a vanilla villager, but it's still not working. So I don't know. Hold on a minute. Well, I have 11 epic bags I could open while you're figuring this out. Oh, hang on to those for a minute, because I might need them. The epic bags? Yes. I cooked up some vibrant alloys, so that was a good time. Powered spawners. While Direwolf was figuring that all out, I managed to get us a whole bunch more aluminum. Nice! How much? Uh, probably a few ingots worth. We have 15 ore berry bushes now, so they produce pretty quickly. Well done, sir. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. You're kind of the biggest deal. Is that a fat joke? No. Okay, well, It's a fact. Then. You're sweet. You can You can stay. Thank you. I don't know if what I'm building counts as a house to a villager, but it should because it's beautiful. All right, villagers, accept that as a house. <laughs> I don't know. I have to look into villager spawning mechanics. In <laughs> but I don't think they're going to spawn here because we're technically in the end, not in the overworld. And they won't breed in the, o in the end, will they? I don't know, dude. I, I don't keep that close to tabs on how they work. Why do we have thickened glass here? What have you done? Oh, I was doing something. So we've got Fallen Knights, Gas, Skeleton, Magma Cubes, Zombie Pigmen, Zombie Blaze. I'm just, just, just for fun, I'm going to try a zombie one and see what happens. Nope, still doesn't want me to get a broken spawner. I wonder if they're, like, bugged. Well, I guess technically there doesn't look like there's one in any eye that says villager. So maybe I can't get a villager spawner. That's unfortunate. 
All right, we're going to have to figure out a solution to villager spawning. So I'm not going to do any of that right now. We'll come back after I find out a solution. But hey, you want to look at our quests and figure out what I did? Sure, because I have a ton of bags to open okay. too. So we... There's that. So go ahead and take a peek in your quest book and I'll show you what I worked on. I see 14 quests done in Lost in Space. Ooh, it looks like you did the Lapis Light Collector thinger. I did. You know what it occurred to me? You can just harvest the white and then dye it? No. Close. You only have to have one of them in their inventory at any time, and you can change them at any time. So I just needed one light and just kept redying it over and over again <laughs> to a different color. And it worked. Fair enough. Fair. Yeah, it worked well, too. All right, villagers. Accept your new home that Dyer has built. I wonder if you can give lifesteal to arrows. Oh. Yeah, I totally have to, like, figure out villager spawning mechanics. It's annoying me now. But anyway, um, so let's see. Let's flip through the books here. I've got a lot of stuff to cover. Um, we'll play with villagers later in time. How'd you get the orberry bushes? You can craft them. Oh. Yeah, I found that out. So, got the Lapis Caliestus quest. Um, I got the seed infuser. That's from that um, mod that I was showing you a little bit ago. Powered soil. We got a while back, remember? Um, and I got the basic reward bag seed. So you can convert reward bags into seeds that grow reward bags. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, I've got a lot of, like smooth shards and stuff that um i haven't played with the mod too much but i just kind of powered through the hand the, the crafting of stuff uh growing cookies gets us um a septuple compressed so i do have to um admit that this growing cookies quest um is bugged it's bugged yeah so like when i went to craft triple compressed cookies it should be like really easy to do and i kept getting anytime i went and used that seed infuser thing it didn't work By the way, any cookies you get, please place in the chest over here by Steve's factory manager setup. Yep, I've been doing that. Thank you, sir. Oh, and for that, I think we can get septuple compressed cookies now. Awesome. I'm going to add that crafting to it. So apparently you can add lifesteal to arrows. That would be correct. But I asked you that and you didn't know. You're frustrating. Imbues, let's see. Flask of experience. Hey, I just got us a septuple compressed cookie, which I think is also a quest. So I just completed another one. Tar, I loaded up the rotunda, by the way, and got us tar. Where was tar in the rotunda? There was like a spot in the rotunda that we actually didn't get to. Um, oh, we neat. never explored. Oh. Yeah, there was nothing exciting down there, so I just kind of went down there. There was some stuff called bitumen, and um, yeah, I got it. So that's all. Uh, we got 30 essence berry bushes each. So in case you ever wanted some experience, that's basically unlimited. All the stuff I did, by the way, was just crafting stuff. Imbues, eh? Yeah, so I just got a septuple compressed cookies, I think. Oh, I have to craft it myself, huh? Now, do you recognize it's complete? Yes. And that gets us another subtouble compressed, so that's cool. Awesome. Now we've got two of them. So, yes, any cookies you get, my good sir, please place in that chest for me. That would be awesome. Yeah, imbues, um, I believe, was um, random things. Yeah. All right, well, we got some magic beans, but I don't know what they actually are, because they look like just efficiency upgrade from fluxed crystals, essence berry bushes. I'm going to put my essence berry bushes in the AE system. Um, what I other boring so many shards and like fluxed crystal stuff. Yeah. 
that's kind of like you can grow stuff. Um, I want to play with it a little bit on camera just to get people to understand it. I made a player interface, which, by the way, the crafting recipe had uh, another star in it, so I used another star. But that got us just right now 40 reward bags, so that's neat. <laughs> um, and then Calendrite. This thing was a nuisance to get, um, and I want to talk about how much of a nuisance it was to get. Calendrite is a combination of, or no, Amardrine is what I needed. Amardrine is a combination of Calendrite and Platinum. And Platinum is ore dictionary with shiny metal. Okay. And we have not found any Platinum or shiny metal anywhere, ever. So the best way that I found to get that was if you look at the induction smelter recipes, you can combine, um, what is it? Ferris, ferrous ore plus cinnabar gives you a 100% chance to get shiny metal from every craft. And cinnabar you get by pulverizing redstone ore. So I made myself a pickaxe and I put silk touch on it. And then I went and just got it literally took me about four stacks of uh, redstone ore because you only have a 25 percent chance to get it so and i needed to get 10 blocks of armadrine which required five blocks of calendrite and five blocks of shiny metal so long story short i did a lot of mining and that's why we got all the redstone because i needed to pulverize redstone ore i have two also, good reward bags do you how many do you have uh, I have one. I need a, I need five in total, and there's there was one in this chest here, but I don't know what happened to it. I may have taken it and opened it before. Oh, I, I hate you! But now I just put two into the AE system, so now you can't hate me. No, oh, I can I can hate you. I promise. That's all right. There's a uh, quick and easy way to get good reward bags. Um, in fact, you should have a quest ready to hand in that will get you a good reward bag in the fake to win thing. Yeah, that's where I got them from. Oh, that's where you got them from. So that's a that's a quest with a cooldown, and we might be able to do it again, unless you just did it again. Um, cooldown on completion. Double compressed cookie five. All right, you should be able to claim that reward now. Can you give me that reward bag? Working on it. There we go. Good reward bag. And go. in fairness, like, this um, Flux Crystals mod is way more stable in the public release. Apparently, um, the mod author grabbed an alpha release, and the mod author like contacted me and was like, please don't judge my mod based on the one that's in the back, because it's like totally not the version that should be in there. All right, hook me up with that good reward bag if you can. It's in the AE system. Cool. So I should be able to put a universal seed in the seed infuser with five good reward bags and get a, and this is the seed infuser here. So if you see, I'll put this in here, I'll put the five good reward bags and infuse, and it'll use up the reward bags and it should give me a good reward bag seed. But I'm getting like weird seeds, like I'm getting the wrong seed when I do that. So when that happens, I just go into cheat mode and give me the seed that I should be getting. So you guys can see that I legitimately got like, or should have gotten it, but there we go. So now that should have completed another quest for us. Sweet. So yeah, Calendrite was a pain of a quest to do. But I think that's all the quests. Yeah. So we've got four epic bags, by the way. You have four, I have 15. Oh, nice. I'm just going to put my base rewards bags in the AE system because I don't even feel like opening them. Oh, I got a Pahimar's pan. That is a very nice pan. I've heard. I 
in terms of uh, pans, I'm a fan of that one. Yeah, it's a good pan. It's a good pan. Got some ectoplasm and a scythe. Ooh, I got a beacon. Beacons are nice. I got a hardened cache. I got some generators, and I got magnesium carbonate drum. I don't know what that is or what it does, but okay. So what would you like to do then, now that we've done all these cool things? Should I open my 15 epic packs? I don't know what magnesium packs? carbonate is used for. Uh, it breaks down into carbonate and magnesium, which I guess gets me magnesium, but... Okay, I don't know why the, the epic bag had magnesium carbonate in it. I imagine it's in some way useful, but we'll find out. Hardened cash. Let's see what the hardened cash has for us. Those are fusion walls from Minechem. Interesting. Um, I think that's pretty much all the progress I made when we were off camera. I can break them down into all kinds of stuff. By the way, there's some alumite ingots in there for you. Oh, sweet. So Dyer, I want All to right, do dude. stuff. Okay, let's do stuff. What do you want to do? Do you want to go explore some of the places you've never explored before? Well, we haven't finished up with those dire wolves. We haven't? No, there's like we just blocked them off. There's still two rooms we haven't gone into in there. Alright. Are you ready for me to load that up then? I am ready for you to load that up. Okay, miner's delight is out. And which one was that? Kiwi's idea machine, right? Yep. You said you found the wool, by the way, but I didn't see my quest being completed. Did I not hand it in? Pomegranate wool, right? No, jaded, jaded wool, it should be called. That would be pomegranate. Other way, we got access to it. I know where it is. It's just in okay. here. Okay. I'm going to... Breathe a very deep sigh and get ready for all the shenanigans. Let me just put a few things away in the AE system and make sure I have a good handful of torches before I go in there. That's odd. I have pomegranate wool, but pomegranate wool in the quest book is called jaded wool. I'm wondering if maybe the name got changed at some point. Oh, I bet you it's in one of these drives. Oh, you think so? Well, the quest says the idea machine contains many ideas, like a better super soaring drive. Dude, I do not like the howling of the wolves. If you just put, if you grabbed one of those terminals and just tapped into one of these wires, you should be able to see if there's anything actually stored in any of those discs. I tried it, and it didn't work. Like, there's oh, nothing really? in it. Well, then, yeah, there's nothing in it. Then that means there's got to be another drive around here somewhere. I'm lowering my game sounds because, wow. I turned mine all the way off. Yeah, these wolves are, like, evil. I don't want any part of them. I'm drawing their attention. Yeah, Go, no. go, 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 go. Get in there. Get Where in. am I supposed to go? What? Are you kidding I, me? I, I want you to go in there and kill the spawners. Are there spawners? I don't even know where the spawners are. Well, you gotta go running around for them. But they're going after me. Like, there's, there's no, a bunch of right in the other room. Right go now. in the other room. The one I'm in. The one with the lava? Oh, my goodness. Do you not see me on your map? I do, but no, they're, like, still at the door. I'll see if I can get their attention. Don't jump into them. Why? That's I have a life steal idea. seven sword. Okay. And it's adamantite. I should be able to draw their attention. I don't even see anything that looks like a spawner. Unless it's inside this stuff. It might be inside this stuff. Oh, which? No, no, yeah, that no, wouldn't be good. Splash me. Splash me. I don't like being in here.
Yeah, they like just hang out right by the door, and it's not good times at all. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that looks like a spawner, so I think it's inside those blocks, would be my guess. Okay. You know what we can do? What could we do? See, I'm lighting up the room while I'm at it. That works. That's a good plan. And ouch. Oh, man. That's the sword does not do armor. well when you're not swinging it. That is 100% of a fact. Oh, by the way, the stuff in the room is obsidian. Yep. I noticed that. Yep. 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 I feel like I should have taken the other room, not this one. Are you in there? I'm in there. Um, I'm somewhere. Oh, I see where you are. Yeah, I'm being sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Gotta light it up, dude. Hang on. I'm, I'm getting an itchy trigger, trigger finger for lava. But actually, lava's not, like, the best plan right now, believe it or not. You know, you had me sold on lava because lava's always worked well in the past. It typically does, yes. The problem is that they're spawning so fast, like, it's not even worth doing. Uh, also, the problem is that they can climb up the lava, so be careful. Like, keep that in mind and make sure that wherever you place the lava is blocked off so they can't climb up it and get to you. I would like to take a minute to think about a plan for this room, because I feel like right now we're just kind of derping about, and I don't know what to do. I could get behind that. Okay, welcome back in a minute, guys. Once we have a better plan, then die. <laughs> okay. Hey, Pahamar, I found something. You did? Yes. What'd you find? The top of the room. What's at the top of the room? Right now, a lot of monsters. But there's nothing forcibly spawning up here, so if we light it up up here, we should be fine. Okay, I'm on my way to assist. Okay. I managed to get my gear back, by the way, then I went exploring. Nice. Oh, I see lava. How did you get to the, where? What top of the room? Where are you? Just go up. Up where? You've blocked it off. I probably did, maybe. Opposite the room that we went into and you died in, there should be a cobblestone ceiling. That's the one I went up. Okay, I'm up here now too. Cool. Just get in F7 mode and start lighting the place. So my partial plan is like we light this place up well enough and maybe we can get down to where um like all these walls are spawning. Like, for example, and watch your step, because I'm going to be digging into the floor here. So, like... I'm just double-checking that you lit up everything. Okay. See, I think I can just drop into this thing and clear out the mob spawner in there. Right? Stand back, I'm gonna go. Okay. okay. And I'm gonna need you to rescue me if I die. How am I gonna do that? I don't know, I'll figure it out later. Ah! Hang on, nobody panic, but panic. 
All right, I've uh, distracted them if you want to try something. Yep, I'm going, yep I'm going for it. Got it. Got it. Nice. You killed the spawner? Yep, spawner's gone. Yep, spawner's gone. Nice. All right, so now we just have to kill all these things, and then we'll be good. And I should be able to handle that because of life steal. Yep, I'm also helping. I'm also helping. Thank you. I appreciate the helpings. And that should prevent like any more wolves from spawning in this room. Woohoo, another wolf free zone. Yay. Um I would also recommend that we light this room up when we're done killing wolves. I may die. Yep. Yeah, okay. That's right. This place will be cleared out in a minute. I should really just make a habit of taking fire protection potions with me wherever I go. Only because I like throwing lava everywhere. Also because of skeletons. We should also start like making other potions, like potions of strength and stuff like that. We could. I don't know if potions of strength actually have an effect on bows, though. All right, so this room should be clear. There is an epic reward bag in it. That's cool. You're good? Yep, just get my stuff back on. Nice. All right, so I call that a cleared out room. Woohoo! Yeah, we did a good job. All right, this room should be like totally clear now. Now we just have the other room. Okay. The room that's like far worse. Far worse. Yeah. Did we have you cleared out all the rooms? Uh, everything except that one. Okay. So the other rooms are cleared out then. Yep. Did you do that last episode? Yeah, man. Well, I knew you blocked them off. I just didn't know you cleared them. No, I remember you kept dying, and I was like, well, I finished this room, and I finished that room. Oh, I assumed you meant just blocked it off. I didn't oh, know you cleared them. Oh, no, they're clear. Oh, they're clear. Nice. So we just Let's have go the back left. and like drop off our stuff, and then we'll come back in a minute. That sounds like an excellent plan. Okay. All right, Pahamara, I think we should wrap up the episode here and then come back next time, and maybe by then I'll understand how to spawn villagers. That would be very helpful. I thought so. I think if we use a similar tactic here, we might be able to get into the room and do similar things. I don't know where spawners would be in there, but I can only imagine that they're inside all the subsidian stuff. I'm actually going to build a proper staircase up to where we were. Are you with me still? No, I accidentally put my hammer in the AE system and I'm trying to find it. Oh. Found it. Sweet. Sorry, what were you blabbering on about? Uh, you know, roughly coming up with a plan of how to handle this room. Nuke it. While I agree that that's usually the best solution... Nougat? Nougat like the candy? Yes. Okay. That would be good. The dogs would get stuck. The problem is it's all obsidian, and that's really annoying to mine with. Um... All right. We're going to come back next episode, guys. I'm going to like try and clear away some of the obsidian and just see if I can't find a solution to my problems here, but we'll come back next time and see what happens, and maybe we'll get a villager spawning thingy up, but I really have no idea how to handle this room, because it's not clear where the spawner or possible spawners are. And actually, the room wouldn't be so bad if there weren't skeletons shooting you. Ooh, I just broke a chest of some sort. Nice. The fun things of using a hammer blindly. That does sound fun. For you. I'm a fun guy. What can I say? That's true. Is that what that smell is? That's liquid fun. Oh, neat. All right, guys. So for now, Daryl20 and Pahamar wrapping up the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we did make good progress, at least clearing out that one room. I would have liked to have made better progress, but... That might have to come next episode. And like I said, we'll figure out a villager spawn or something or other. All right, guys. Sounds good. Take it easy. See you later, guys.